Hello, my name is Brother Sean, and this is a heart reflection for the soul that is in need of respite, some spiritual nourishment. And I would like to share with you a thought for today. And the words are from the Cosmic Christ. But first I would like you to find a place of stillness where you can relax and just be still. And you can light a candle, you can burn some incense and just take a nice deep breath and release it. And now allow me share with you beautiful words for you, for your heart, for your soul's purpose. Waiting, trusting and hoping are intricately connected like golden strands interwoven to form a strong chain. Trusting is the central strand because it is the response from my children that I desired the most. Waiting and hoping embellish the central strand and strengthen the chain that connects you to me. Waiting for me to work with your eyes on me is evidence that you really do trust me. If you mouth the words, I trust you, while anxiously trying to make things go your way, your words ring hollow. Hoping is future directed, connecting you to your inheritance in heaven. However, the benefits of hope fall fully on you in the present. Because you are mine, you don't just pass time in your waiting. You can wait expectantly in hopeful trust. Keep your antennae out to pick up even the faintest glimmer of my presence. They are beautiful words and the words that ring true to my heart and I hope they ring true to yours. You meet so many beautiful souls who say, oh, I love angels. They have the biggest brooches, they flash, they've got sparkly lights and diamonds, but it's all emotional and their lives are in crisis. They go from one crisis to another. In counselling we call it looping. And when they come to me I say, oh I like your brooch, but how are you? Oh I'm in a dreadful place. I said, well what's that on your lapel? Oh I, it's my angel, I believe in them. Oh they're marvellous, they're wonderful. I said, well they're not so wonderful are they for you to be in the state that you're in? Oh you can't blame them. I said, well who do I blame? Well I don't know. I said, an angel is a messenger of God who brings love and truth. Do you listen? Oh, I'm far too busy. I said, that's why you're in crisis. Because to listen to your messenger of God is more than wearing an all singing, all swinging and dancing image on your lapel. You've got to make time each day to feed your soul, to spend time in silence and listen to what God is saying to your heart. Do you do that? Oh, no, not at all. Would you consider doing it? Well, that's, that's a maybe. Well, do you want to be free of crises? Of course I do. Well, then you need to take responsibility. Must I, they say. I said, yes. And that's the problem today. People pray that I will wave a magic wand or some miracle dust over them and their problems and ipso facto est, it's disappeared. But we have to take responsibility for our own journey and not rely on people to nanny us. That's so disrespectful, isn't it? So come back to your heart. Listen to your heart. 
make time to be still. Not on a Sunday in church or on a Friday in the temple or on a Saturday in the synagogue. But listen to your heart each day and the love of God will connect with you and you'll be blown away by what you hear. So let's reawaken your heart by making time to feed it. Namaste.